Hello and welcome to a new video and welcome to Brussels Airport. So this is the Diamond Lounge at Brussels Airport. I have featured this uh, before on the channel. So I'm not going to go into too much detail, just show you around the food. But whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to tell you about today's video. So today we're flying Qatar Airways from Brussels to Doha in business class on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Looking forward to this. This is the beginning of my trip over to Australia. I'd just like to apologise, I've had huge issues with uh, sound on the cameras I've been using so you will notice throughout that some sound is missing. I do apologise and I hope that doesn't ruin your enjoyment. So that's enough of me for this bit. Um, as you can see I just enjoy a bit of food and I shall see you as we get on board. And here she is. Just about eight and a half year old uh, Dreamliner delivered new to Qatar in 2015. Can't remember the exact month. Should be boarding soon. Looking forward to this one. So it is time to board. I am so excited for this. Be it very tired. By this point, I'd already been up about 14 hours. But enough of that. Let's get on board this Boeing 787 Dreamliner over to Doha. So this is where the sound goes um, a bit wonky, well it disappears completely, I think it's the microphone, uh, luckily I left it on board by mistake, uh, but once I was on board I was offered a towel, I can't remember whether it was a hot or a cold towel, um, all I know is it does smell very nice if you've never flown Qatar, uh, they are very nice smelling towels. So a quick look at the menus on board today, I've not shown the drinks menu, it's just uh, various wines, uh, feel free to pause and have a look, I did pre-order uh, my food before my flight. I have uh, pre-ordered the uh, lamb, so uh, that'll be nice. So let's take a little look at what was at the seat. So there was a couple of pillows, a big one there. There's a blanket, a very nice blanket actually, I could do with one of those. A little amenity kit that's in a box uh, just there. Is it, uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Uh, a little protection kit, I'm surprised they're still doing these. They're from COVID days. A bottle of water. As it's the Dreamline, you do have the electric uh, dimmable windows rather than normal, normal window shade. Of course, there's the safety video. Uh, I'm glad they've got rid of that awful football one they had last time I flew with them. If you've not seen that video, check that out. As we're waiting for takeoff, I'd just like to... Uh, Remind you to subscribe if you haven't already done so, hit that bell notification and of course give it a thumbs up and always leave a comment below. It's always good to hear from you uh, guys and girls and I will always try to reply. So without further ado, uh, let's get running down this runway. So you can now help support this channel, you can use the uh, join button which is a bit like Patreon but right here on YouTube or the super thanks button. But as always, all I really need you to do is just watch, subscribe and like.
So now we're airborne, let's have a look around the seat. So you've got this little table at the side here, uh, so with a bottle of water, some literature. There's that smaller pillow, you've got a reading light just there. Um, you need to be a contortionist to use. Uh, what else we got? Let's have a look. So you've got USB charging just there, and then just underneath you've got a uh, universal socket as well. There's another little table there. And then you've got all your buttons for the seat. It's pretty self-explanatory. Nothing too complicated there. There's a little storage, uh, a cubby hole just below there. Obviously there's a footrest, not that I can reach it, because uh, I'm a bit of a short ass. There's another little uh, cubby hole there that had the uh, headphones in. We've got the table in front of the screen, which we'll have a look at a little later. There is individual air vents, which is good. This seat was a little bit worn, and there's also the uh, remote control for the in-seat TV. The armrest uh, does uh, lift up electronically. It is a little slow, but uh, who cares? Yeah, so that's the seat. Um, it's a pleasant place to spend sort of five, five and a half hours for this flight whilst I watch The Simpsons. Uh, time for a glass of bubbly and some nuts. Uh, for some reason I didn't seem to film it, but I was offered champagne as a welcome drink on board, which I did partake. There is a little cupboard, a uh, little drawer, sorry, at the bottom there for shoes. Champagne was lovely, I have to admit. So it's quite a large table, just pops out from underneath the TV there. And then you just fold it down. It's large enough for dinner and uh, to do any work if you want to. I've not brought my laptop. I'm going to enjoy this trip rather than actually do any work. But all in all, it's not a bad little seat. Not a huge amount of privacy, but still can't complain. I think it's time to eat. I must uh, admit that Qatar, their food is always excellent and the presentation again is excellent. They really do take their time to make it look nice. For the starter, I went for the soup of the day, which was cream of mushroom. It wasn't too bad. 
uh, could have done with being a little bit warmer. Uh, for main course, as I mentioned earlier, I had the lamb with some potatoes, asparagus and tomato. It was fantastic. The standout dish of the day was definitely this cheesecake which I had for dessert. It was magnificent. Followed by a cup of coffee. Time for a hot towel and it was very hot. Well, it's time to get some sleep, so let's convert this seat into a fully flat bed. So apologies here, the microphone's playing up again, you can barely hear my voice. Um, yeah, so in the bed mode, it is fully flat. So for someone like me who's five foot six, there's plenty of uh, leg room, or in terms of height. Uh, there's not much leg room if you lay on your side like myself, uh, but it's certainly better than the economy seat. So I wake up after about two hours of sleep, it was, it's not the most comfiest of beds, um, but you know what, for a quick nap it certainly beats uh, economy. So let's have a look at the immunity kit, like I said earlier it does come in a box and it contains all your usual sort of things. So you've got flight socks, there's an eye mask in there, you've got lip balm, there's some hand cream, some face cream as well uh, which I'll show you uh, in a second. There was a couple of snack baskets set up for business class passengers, you got some fruit there and then you got a little basket with some crisps, some popcorn, uh, that kind of thing, just for a little snack mid-flight. before landing a little box of chocolates were handed out to all business class passengers As we land down in Doha in Qatar, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. 
Once again, also like to apologise for the issues I had with sound. I'll be honest, on the whole of this trip, I had issues with all three cameras that I had. But still, nothing I can do about that now. That's already done. So once again, thank you for watching. So due to the heat, the windows start to get condensation on them uh, and you can't see too much. So I'm actually going to leave this video here. Once again, thank you and until next time, take care.